Okay, so now that we have installed and set up Vue.js ready for development, we're going to explore some data binding features of Vue.js, okay? And um, before we go ahead, I realized that I made a mistake in spelling Vue.js. I said VEU in the previous video, so we're going to rectify that first. VUE.js, just check that that's um, spelled correctly, okay? So that's corrected. Okay, so let's um, explore some data binding as I said before. So first thing that we need to do is instantiate the main Vue.js class. So when you include Vue.js in your project, you have access to a function called um, view. So what we need to do is say new view. So we're going to instantiate the main view class and then um, we're going to have to give the instance the main element that it has to attach itself in uh, our application. We haven't created that element yet, but we will in a moment. So it's going to be an element with an ID of app. And um, the instance also accepts another um, property called data. And data is just an object which has um, some other properties inside of it. In this case, um, you can have actually any property inside of data, but let's just put in something simple called message. And um, the value for message will be hello, view to do app. Okay. So that's all we need to um, bootstrap Vue.js. So inside our application, let's create a div there with an ID of app. Okay. So let's remove the class and give it an ID of app. Okay. So what that does is that um, when we wire up Vue.js like this, it looks in our um, HTML and um, tries to hook itself to whatever you specified as the element here. Okay. So in this case, this is where our Vue.js application will live in inside of this div. So um, let's display the text inside of this data here. So this property message. So how you display things in Vue.js, which are inside of the data property is you um, open up two curly braces and close them like this. And then you just type in the name of the property, which lives inside of data. So in this case, we want to display the text, which is inside of data message. And um, we're just going to have to type message here. So I'll just type in message and then uh, we'll just open this in our browser. So this is our file. I'll just right click open with Chrome. And um, as you can see, hello view to do app. So just to show you that that is um, what is where the value is actually coming from. I'll just create another one called message two, and it say hello again from view to do. Okay. So, um, I'll just change this, take this and duplicate it, um, put them all in their paragraph tags so that they stay on the, on the separate lines. So I'll just close that here, same message to save it, go back to the browser, refresh, as you can see, hello view to do app and hello again from view to do. Okay. So that's a very simple case of data binding, right? So this is very useful, but um, there are other types of data binding. Um, for example, we can bind a property inside of data here to some input element like uh, a form text field. Okay, so let's create one text field inside of our app div. I'll just do a input here. So we're going to give it a type of text and um, the name is not really necessary. So you can delete that. So instead of just putting something in value here, what we want is that we want to bind um, this message um, property here to um, this input field so that the two values are synced together. So I will just remove this message too. It was just for demonstration purposes. Uh, we don't need it right now. So let's remove this value here as well. So view has um, some attributes called V model. It has a lot of these types, but um, as we go along, we'll get introduced to the other ones which are available. So there's one called V model. And what it does is um, whatever you put inside this value here, it binds that um, input tags value to whatever you specify here. In this case, we want to say that we want to link the value of this input field to the message property. So we say message. Now save this, go back to the browser, refresh. Now as you can see, hello view to do app um, is up here, which is um, this P tag here that we are binding to. And then we also bound that um, message property to the input field. So now when I change this here, as you can see, it's reflecting up uh, on top here. Hello to do, we are changing 
your value automatically or dynamically okay so that's um, another use case of data binding with Vue.js and the third one um, which I want to show you is that you can not only bind, bind to input elements but you can bind to um, link tags as well so for example you have a URL um, which lives inside of this data property here and you want to bind it to a link tag you can do that very easily so I'll create a P element and inside there I'll create a link tag and um, how you do that is you don't directly um, set it on href you say v bind and what do we want to bind which attribute of this um, link tag here is the href attribute and um, we say equal to um, whatever property we want to bind it to in our data elements right now we do not have url so we have to create a url property inside of here so in this case let's say http colon colon uh, colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com okay so right now what is vbind does is that um after vbind just put in as a semicolon and then whatever property you want to bind to and then an equal to and then um what you want to bind it to in your data um, property of the Vue.js instance in this case url so we can change this to url2 or some link all we have to do is uh, we just set this value here to some link it really doesn't matter what the name um, of the element yeah, the property is so in this case um, some link so let's just say link to google okay so what's going to happen is Links, um, you view JS is going to take a look at this here and evaluate and understand that we want to set the href property to some link. So I'll show you that in the um, browser console in a moment. Okay, so as you can see, the href element is generated. And if you look down here, you will see that um, we are linking to Google. So I'll right click that and say inspect. So you see that view JS has automatically created it. So we have a link tag here, which is um, linking to google.com so where is our vbind um, that is removed by vue.js and this is what we need so when i click on this right click open a new tab as you can see we've been taken to google.com okay so one thing sometimes you may want to um, bind to some literal string for example what do i mean by that you may not want to bind to some property here in your data element you actually want to set the property of this href here directly to some string okay so how you do that is you put the literal um, property after href so l i t e r a l equal to so http forward slash forward slash www.cnn.com so what that's going to do is remember without the literal it tries to find what property there is on the data um, property here but in this case, if you put literal, it's not going to try to find any. It's going to actually put href as whatever you put here. Okay, so let's go in our browser, refresh. As you can see, link to Google, link to Google. Let me change that to CNN. Okay, refresh. And now when I right click on this and inspect, as you can see, we're linking to CNN. And this one is the evaluated one. And this one is the one which is taken literally. Okay. So that's it guys for data binding for now and um, in later videos we will explore more advanced data binding but that should do for now and I thank you for watching I will see you soon in another video. Cheers bye bye.